This is the story of Harper Shelton, a typical teenager destined to discover the secret to popularity and happiness as a freshman in high school. And it begins like most teenage dramas do, with peer pressure. We have to do this. Do what? What is that? A notebook? I can see that. And what's so special about this notebook? Okay, basically it's Anna's. And you know how she was super popular in high school and everything? Yeah. Well, she used this to do it. It's a bunch of rules and tips on how to be popular. And you want us to do this? I mean, we could be pops in ninth grade. It's a fresh start, why not take the chance? I mean, it worked for Anna. And she used this to do it? It's all that she was just super funny and nice and stuff? Trust me, I know my sister. This has to be it. I've been reading up on the rules for the past couple days. Rule one, don't be boring. Always be the most interesting person in the room. That's what it says. So I was thinking we could try it. We'll study the rules before school starts and try and follow them and see what happens. I don't know. It could be so fun. We could be pops. Please don't say pops. It's not a thing. Whatever. I don't know. I just, I guess I don't really care that much about being popular. Please, for me. Oh, I gotta go. Mom's here. So what do you think? Ugh, fine. I'll do it. Yes. You won't regret it. <sighs> I hope not. <laughs> here. You keep it. You're the one who doesn't know any of the rules. Eh, true. Uh, see you on Monday. Dear reader, this notebook will help you be you. Oh. Huh. Only better. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't. Yeah, probably not here. Rule seven. Try not to embarrass yourself in public. Rule number seven, right? Someone's been studying her rules. I may have glanced at them for a minute. My name is Mr. Emerson. I'm your homeroom teacher. Welcome to ninth grade. For this assignment, I'm gonna ask you to come up, stand in front of the classroom, talk a little bit about your summer. Yay. Emmy, you're up. Hi guys. So, um, bro, what am I supposed to say? You know I didn't do anything last summer. Oh, you can talk about how you got your ingrown toenail removed. No, I don't know. You think of something. Harper, you're up next. Um, hi. This summer, um, this summer I, I, um, went to my grandfather's beach house in... Rule one, never be boring. Always be the most interesting person in the room. The Maldives. Um, and you know, there would be dolphins that would swim by the docks in the morning. Oh, and one time I went jet skiing and I got stranded on this little island because the jet ski's fuel ran out. And um, it was kind of scary at first, but it was kind of like that show Survivor. <laughs> I cracked open a coconut and everything, and uh, of course my parents were super frantic the second they found I was gone, so the Coast Guard or whatever came looking for me, and I was found in around three hours. Yeah. Thank you. So for my summer, basically all I did was relax. OMG! That was incredible! Did you see the way they were looking at you? You had the entire class's attention. You were the definition of be the most interesting person in the room. That's kind of what I was going for. And the lie was so believable, I practically forgot about the summer. Sorry to interrupt, but you're Harper, right? Uh, you're in my homeroom. Yeah. Oh, you went to the Maldives. She was the one I was telling you about. Yeah, that's me. Wasn't her story so cool? I like your top. Is it from Brandy? I love Brandy. Uh, of course. Like, what are you doing with your life if you aren't shopping at Brandy? <laughs> that was actually funny. Come, get in the pic. Rule 37. Snap pics with popular people whenever possible. That's actually so cute. What's your snap? I'll tag you. Here. Bye. Bye. Note to reader, watch out for the people closest to you. 
Friends today, foes tomorrow. What's so funny? It's an inside joke. You wouldn't get it. Rule 13, never be on the outside of an inside joke. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, reader, if you've come this far, don't be discouraged now. Consider this. There can't be winners without losers. <laughs> so, like, I was going to the bathroom during class because I was bored. And I walk in, and there are these girls doing that weird TikTok dance. Ew, like the anime one? Yes, bro. I was dying. It was so funny. And then I stopped them on TikTok, and they actually post it. That's like so embarrassing. No, right? What? <laughs> Rule 44. Making someone else look bad makes you look better. That's so funny, Dakota, because weren't you the one who wanted to make those videos at my house when we hung out? What? Yeah, it's so funny that you guys talk about those dance videos because that was the only thing Dakota wanted to do when we made TikToks. You were like low-key obsessed. Okay, now that's embarrassing. <laughs> Dakota, honey. If that's who you really are, you don't have to hide it. <laughs> what was that? It was just a joke and you can't deny it was funny. It was not, it was humiliating. Oh, look, you're the one who wanted to do this in the first place. Rule 44, remember? I'm just doing what you wanted. It's not that big of a deal. Come on. Oh, it's on. What are those? Um, my lunch? No, no, you can't eat that. We're all eating broccoli today. Apparently, it helps you lose weight. Uh, who told you that? Dakota did. And it's perfect because I've been feeling so bloated lately. Oh my god, same. Like, so bloated. Same. Like, so bloated. Here, eat. Important tip, popular girls love talking about their weight and eating healthy. Thanks. Mm, this broccoli is so good. Harper, what's wrong? Have you never eaten healthy in your whole life before? Uh, no, are you kidding? Of course I like eating healthy. Look. Yum. Let's go, girls. My devoted reader, don't let anyone stand in your way. If they fight dirty, you have to fight dirtier. What are you doing? We need to talk. I have class. Why would you do that? You know I hate broccoli. Why would you absolutely humiliate me with the TikToks in front of the most popular girls in the school? This conversation is not about you, Dakota. You always do this. I tried to talk to you about the broccoli and you make it about you. God, you're so dramatic. I recommend it to my friends that we eat broccoli. Why is that so hard for you? Whatever, I know you're only doing this because your parents won't even look at you. They're way too busy obsessing over their prettier, smarter, funnier, Ivy League daughter. You think if you become a pop, your parents might spare you some attention? You think your mommy might finally love you? It's like I don't even know you anymore. Dakota, wait! I have class. Looks like it's time to give up. Time to stop chasing daydreams. They know how Final rule. Final rule? Be yourself and never live by anyone else's rules in order to fit in. Disregard everything that has been previously stated in this book. These rules were written to prove the toxicity of popularity and how far people will stray from who they are to become popular. We need to talk. Dear reader, don't hate me for pranking you. I've taught you the most valuable lesson of all. Think for yourself. Don't let someone else's rules define you. Today in class, Mr. Ganchi literally forgot where he put the tests, so we started like 10 minutes late. How old is he anyway? Everly. Everyone knows he's 79. The only reason he has not been fired yet is because his granddaughter is like a donator to the school or something. They should fire him. He's so weird. Only rule. Be yourself.
I don't think he's weird. What? I said I don't think he's weird. Okay. Mm. And I don't like broccoli, and I never went to the Maldives. What? And I love making dance videos. And so do I, and I lied about that because I thought popularity was more important than honesty. So we're sorry, but we won't be following any rules from now on. Rules? What rules? It's, it's an, an inside, inside joke. joke. Are we gonna... Oh, yeah. I feel so bloated right now. Oh my god, same. So bloated. Same. Like, so bloated. I missed carbs. Same! <laughs> <laughs>